Hello ladies and gentlemen, today's video is going to be about the dark zone. Which zone is the best in these categories? The bosses, the chests, the extraction zones, the vision tech and the sealed caches as well. I've come up with a rating system to judge which zones are best in overall. I'll put the data I've used on screen right now. The ones that are the best in their category are green. The conclusion of this data is that the new zones 7 through 9 are the best place to be. On the charts, Dark Zone 7 is overall the best zone, except for the fact that it is lacking an extraction zone, which is a big deal if you want to farm efficiently. Dark Zone 7 won in three categories Dark Zone chests, bosses, and division tech. Dark Zone 8 and 9 are overall decent zones, so if you're able to sustain these zones, a farming route from 6 through 9 is definitely the best route to take. I will draw out this route in a bit, but first for those who can't sustain through these high level zones. The best place to actually be is Dark Zone 1 through 3, and circle back to 1 and so forth. 4 and 5 are useless, and 6, 6 is pretty good but it's, it's just a place to turn around and head back to 7 after extracting. So, let's draw a route from Dark Zone 6 till 9. This is going to be a very rough estimate of what it would be, not considering too many Dark Zone keys in the pocket and so forth. So you can start this route in pretty much any Dark Zone from 6 through 9, uh, except for 8. So 6, 7 or 9 is a good place to start. The plan is that you start on either side of the zones. Let's assume we're going to start in Dark Zone 9. <clears throat> start on the checkpoint in Dark Zone 9 on the southwest side. Head towards the first sealed cache in the block across of the street. Then head north to the first landmark. Now pick up another sealed cache on your way to the next landmark north of here. Then head east to that landmark and extract. Depending on the amount of keys you have, Dark Zone keys, you could have extracted earlier. If you did do this, then you can actually extract once again before heading into the underground, which is the next step. From the extraction zone, there's a very convenient route to Dark Zone 8, which is the underground. Following the train track until you reach the extraction zone in Dark Zone 8, since you've crossed so many landmarks on your way there, you should be filled up and good to go on another extraction. Once you've completed the extraction, head to the first landmark in Dark Zone 7 on the northeast side. From there on, pick up a sealed cache along the way and head to the landmark right next to it. Then make your way towards the extraction zone in Dark Zone 6. Along the way, you'll be able to pick up another landmark and a sealed cache. So, after extracting, I'd advise to go to a checkpoint with a storage, since after this route, your storage is full. Clear it and you can start again in Dark Zone 9, or find another place to start. This route is very easy to change up, since there are so many ways to clear in Dark Zone 7, you could even <clears throat> just do the Opera and then head back to the Dark Zone in, uh, Extraction Zone in Dark Zone 6, since the Opera should give you a full inventory straight away. However, the, the Underground to Dark Zone 8 is a really good way to move along. And a very good crossover from Dark Zone 7 to 9, since other than the underground route, there's not much to do in Dark Zone 8. Alright, that's been it for now. I hope you guys found this video very helpful. I've linked the maps with all the points of interest marked on it in the description. And the data on how much there is to find in each zone will be linked there as well. It's been WhatsApp on the Mastermind channel.